it'd be easier to get better grades with uh, more time um, in the evening because I'm definitely an evening person. Coming from class at nine o'clock, I'm not gonna do. I'm not really gonna study for uh, two hours. I'm gonna try to take a nap or sleep. Uh, so one thing, your health. You're always injured. You're always sore. You're always tired. It's just something that comes along with athletics. Yeah, your, your breaks, Christmas breaks, Thanksgiving, stuff like that. It's a lot shorter if you even have any, because I know a lot of college athletes don't even have them. I lost probably a lot of opportunities to make a lot of friends outside of sports teams um, for my school in particular, and in high school when I was going through the recruiting process, I lost a lot of social time that I, you know, it's your senior year, your junior year in high school, you want to be social, you're just getting your license, you want to go out with friends and, and hang out and have a good time, and it's really hard to do that when you're taking calls from college coaches and trying to work out where your future is going to, you know, take place and what, at what college. It's a give and take. After you graduate, you're going to be able to make friends and stuff, but you do lose the opportunity to make a lot of friends and have social college, typical college experiences. Well, one thing was probably the biggest thing to me is coming home. As, as really being so far away from home to start with, you know, I wasn't going to come home very often, but with, with sports, it's really changed dramatically. I know with football, the bowl season, I've missed Christmas now, two years out of the four I've been at school, that just the fact that you have to be there so many days, you have to be at the bowl, you have an obligation to be there. Um, for summer, and, you know, all my friends come home and work, and I've lost a lot of chances to work a summer job uh, because we have those practices so constantly in classes that I've been unable to do a lot of internships. Uh, so probably the, really the time at home and then, you know, just free time at, at college. You know, you look at some of these other kids and, you know, grass is always greener on the other side, but, you know, these, some of these friends of yours that are non-athletes are, I'd kill to, you know, be an athlete. I'd love to be able to play. And you're like, well, I would love to watch, lay down and watch a movie after my homework's done, it, you know. The partying and hanging out with friends all the time on the weekends. Like, you really can't be staying up all the late and going to these crazy parties when you have a practice at 8 o'clock in the morning the next day. There are a couple of night classes I would have taken, probably, if I had the chance to, but our practice time ran into it. But the only other thing would probably be going out on weekends, a couple weekends. We just, and like Halloween, we came back just in time to go out. That's not a big deal though, but we have to like deal with the fact that all of our friends that back at campus can go out and we can't sometimes. So, yeah, I mentioned before how academically, you know, scheduling stuff, there's a lot of classes you can't take and a lot of stuff you can't do. Um, also, you know, I've had, I've had trouble, I'm trying to do something academic related over the summer with like an internship or something like that, and that's really tough. Extra time you'd spend studying, you know, grades could probably be higher. Hardest thing about being a college athlete is it has to be just managing the time. It's learning to really to know that that schedule has to, has to be followed a lot more strictly than any other uh, student at a college. Again, I just wasn't ready for it. I didn't know what it would take. I, I remember being exhausted <laughs> freshman year, just being like, "Really? Like practice? This is still going on?" <laughs> and you know, you, you're not really ready for it. And at first, you know, you're excited, you're at school, but then you know, two months into it, you're like, oh my goodness, this start, it really starts to just wear on you. Um, the hardest thing is probably adjusting at the beginning of the year because you're not used to being with new people that you don't know and then having new teammates come in. There's a lot of hard things about being a college athlete. Uh, you have to give up your, you have to give up your weekends for half the, <laughs> for half the school year. You, uh, you're always in in the teacher's eyes. Like a lot of people don't think about that, but they know you're on the basketball team. They they watch you a little more closely just because of stereotypes. I think that the mental game doesn't really get stressed enough in high school. And getting into college, you really need to be prepared to play with girls or or guys who are as good or better as you. Transitioning to college, you're playing with a bunch of all stars, and it's really hard to get noticed and to be successful when you yourself are just as good as everybody else, you're not better than them. One of the ideals of Division One softball or Division One athletics is that they weed out everyone in the beginning that actually does not want to be there. And it's stressful and it's mentally tough and you have to be able to pursue it and push through it. I got hurt when I was a freshman. My body could not handle all the weight that I put on because of all the, I gained 25 pounds of muscle when I was a freshman. Because I put on so much weight, my bones cracked literally under pressure because I was just running with 25 pounds of excess that I didn't have before. So I think that Strengthening your body before college is something really important. I'd say the hardest thing is uh, class scheduling, probably, because there are there are classes that I can't take because I'm an athlete, because it's you know it starts at three or four o'clock in the afternoon, which is my practice time. 
Um, there's tons of classes that have, you know, um, extra sections, you know, they have to go to outside of class, like review sections or discussion sections or whatever. And they usually give you a bunch of options, but usually more than half of those options are in the middle of the afternoon when athletes can't do them. And so scheduling is just probably, it's probably the hardest part. And I had teammates in, in my class, actually, who were with us through freshman year cross country, but, you know, they had other interests and, and uh, they kind of just didn't like the intensity and I think it wasn't intense, intense in high school for them and they kind of were just naturally gifted and could do what they wanted. And once they got here, they went through cross country in the fall and then dropped it. I would say trying to separate the basketball and all the workouts and things like that from the schoolwork and trying to get your homework done and studying for tests and things like that because like I said, basketball takes up so much time, you kind of just want to go home and go to sleep, not thinking about your class in the morning that you have like a test for. Third pitch I ever threw, I was a constant no-hitter, perfect game, two-hit shutout, pitcher in high school and travel ball, the third pitch I ever threw in my college career was a home run. And it was, I never, I didn't get one out, I didn't get, I got one strike and one ball and a home run. Um, so the level of play at college is just absolutely amazing. Mentally, I was not prepared enough because I never had to deal with the competition of of someone that was as good as me. Your hitters one through nine can rip the ball out of the park on you, so you need to be smarter as a pitcher and as a player to beat them in a game that they are very, very good at. I thought I was conditioned when I was going in until the first day in conditioning. I felt like I was going to die, and I think that was the hardest part, which surprised me the most, was how well conditioned the players already there were compared to me. I, I feel like in high school you can get better than a lot of people just by outworking them, but in college everybody's working hard, you know, so you really have to keep up with it or else you fall way behind. The only thing I wasn't prepared for probably was that you come in thinking like you were the best at your high school, you're the best maybe at your club too, but you're not the best at your college, so you have to start at the lowest rung again and work your way up. If you want to be good, you have to put that extra amount of time in that, you know, you're in there watching film, you're in there lifting weights on your own, that's, that's really what it takes. Your commitment level as a high school student some are really, are really committed, but you have no idea what you're actually getting into. So you're going to have to have a serious passion for the game to stay. Because I, there's a lot of people that have been on my team that have quit in years past just because they're not ready for that level of commitment. So just be serious about your sport. Start early. It would have been significantly less stressful if I would have put myself out there when I was a freshman and put myself out there when I was a sophomore. Go to camps in 8th grade, 7th grade. Just get yourself out there, get your name out there. Get known and let college coaches know that you are interested. Contact them. Don't wait for them to contact you. Do a lot of extra work on your own and get your game to whatever sport you're playing to up to par because the college level is a lot different from high school strength-wise and talent-wise and everything. And make sure you handle your schoolwork too. I tell them to make sure they love the sport, um, are willing to sacrifice things for it, um, and... I know, I'd, I'd encourage it. I think it's a, a good thing. I'd, I'd tell people to go for it, especially just because the, the connections you have immediately with your teammates. And um, and it, it's just it's a good thing to be a part of something in college other than just going to class every day. That they should probably keep up with their workouts over summer right after school is out. And probably most of like the best advice I could give would be to get ready to be in college and do a couple things at once. Cause it's not like high school where you're going to the same classes every day and you're doing the same thing every day. You have different classes, you have different schedules, so you just have to work with what you're given. It's really pursue what you love. I, I knew I wanted to play. I knew it was something important to me, and it has to be. If you want to play a college sport, it has to be something really, really important to you because, like we mentioned before, there's lots of things that you know, are seemingly downsides to to playing college athletics, but I, I love it more than, you know, than not playing, obviously. And, it's something that's uh, really important to me and it has to be in order to, in order to succeed. It.